The Civilian Conservation Corps is well known for their great work in restoration and conservation in numerous natural spaces throughout the United States. However, a lesser known portion of that history is how black citizens fit into the program. Newtown Battlefield State Park, located in the southern tier of New York State, is where an all-black CCC company was stationed, and for just over two years, this group of men made incredible improvements to the park so that future generations could enjoy its natural beauty and learn from its history that dates back to the Revolutionary War. In August of 1779, the Continental Army was engaged in battle with British regulars, Loyalist Rangers, and 1,000 Native American warriors at the Battle of Newtown near Elmira, New York. This was the decisive clash in one of the largest offensive campaigns of the American Revolution. This expedition, known as the Sullivan-Clinton Campaign, had been regarded as punishment to several tribes among the six nations of the Iroquois Confederacy who had sided with the British in the war and had attacked frontier settlements. A stone monument was dedicated on August 29, 1879 to mark the centennial of the Battle of Newtown. The present granite monument was erected in 1912, and since that time, Newtown Battlefield State Park has become a hidden gem of the New York State Park system. Many of the present facilities that visitors enjoy in the park, including a beautiful rustic lodge, cabins for overnight stays, and playing fields were developed in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The Civilian Conservation Corps, or CCC, was a work relief program established by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt during the Great Depression in 1933. During his fireside chat on May 7th of that year, President FDR explained his two goals of the CCC program. And in creating this Civilian Conservation Corps, we are killing two birds with one stone. We are clearly enhancing the value of our natural resources, and at the same time, we are relieving an appreciable amount of actual distress. The CCC was comprised of young men ages 18 to 25, as well as veterans from World War I, who were put to work to help restore and conserve many of the United States' natural resources, chiefly within national and state parks. Their work can still be observed and enjoyed in many state parks across New York State today. The immense task of mobilizing a program to the scale of the CCC fell under the responsibility of the United States Army. With rigid structure and efficiency, the Army was instrumental in organizing companies of up to 200 men that were dispersed to locations across the country where they lived at their work sites, helping to enhance our nation's natural resources. The young men of the CCC were clothed and given room and board, and they were paid $30 per month for their hard work. $25 were required to be sent home to their families as part of the relief effort, while they were allowed to keep $5 to themselves per month. A typical day included eight hours for sleeping, eight hours for leisure and recreation time, and eight hours for working. During their work time each day, the enrollees of the CCC learned valuable trade skills such as masonry and carpentry from experts who were local to each work site. The law that was passed by the U.S. Congress in 1933 that allowed for the formation of the Civilian Conservation Corps included language that there should be no discrimination of enrollees to the program based on race, color, or creed. However, during the time of the CCC in the 1930s into early 1940s, segregation laws and rules of separate but equal were still prevalent in much of the United States. Even with the anti-discrimination language written into the law, Segregation of white and black enrollees was still common practice in the CCC. In response to questions about these segregation practices in the Civilian Conservation Corps, CCC Director Robert Fetchner 
penned a letter to Thomas Griffith of the NAACP stating, in part, quote, I am satisfied that the Negro enrollees themselves preferred to be in companies composed exclusively of their own race. Perhaps because of racial prejudice within integrated CCC companies, black enrollees may have felt safer or more comfortable being instead in segregated companies. By 1935, it was CCC policy that black enrollees were to be assigned to their own companies separate from white enrollees. In order to keep track of these segregated companies, the Civilian Conservation Corps assigned the letter C to the end of each company's number to designate them as colored companies. One such example is Company 1251C that was based at Camp SP-46 right here at Newtown Battlefield State Park. After their arrival in August 1935, the 180 men of Company 1251C were put to work grading and topsoiling many of the steeper slopes in the park for erosion control. They graded and graveled many of the park roads that exist today. They cleared trees to open scenic vistas of the valley below the park. And they built the cabins that overnight visitors still enjoy to this day. But of all the work completed by Company 1251C at Newtown Battlefield in just over two years, their most significant contribution to the park is the picnic shelter. This stunning structure that was originally designed as a combination picnic pavilion and concessions building was completed in 1936 using wood that was cut and milled right on site. The men of 1251C also built much of the wooden furniture still found inside the shelter today. Their fingerprints are quite literally all over this beloved shelter as the lumber used for the ceiling was placed while the wood was still wet from staining, leaving behind fingerprints of the young men responsible for its construction. The charming rustic space provided by these men has hosted countless weddings, birthday celebrations, and family reunions since its construction. With the anticipation of all the great work to be performed at Newtown Battlefield by the CCC prior to their arrival, the Elmira Star Gazette celebrated their initial deployment in the area. However, many of the articles written focused on the white officers that were initially in charge of the camp, with reassurances to local citizens that these officers were, quote, familiar with commanding colored men. Possibly due to mounting pressures from various organizations and politicians in the mid-1930s, the CCC appeared to reassess their policy that even colored companies were to be commanded by white officers. Referred to by some media at the time as an experiment of the CCC, two colored companies had their white officers replaced by black officers. The first was Company 1355C, stationed at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and the second was Company 1251C at Newtown Battlefield. By June of 1937, the white officers of 1251C had been replaced entirely by black officers. Those that took over included Commanding Officer Captain Joseph A. Holmes, Subaltern Lieutenant Henry Scott, and the Company Medical Officer Lieutenant R. E. Braun. But after all of the fanfare of the camp's arrival to the area, the Elmira Star Gazette made no mention of the reassignment of officers, and just months after the black officers were put in place, Company 1251C was relocated to Grass Point State Park in the Thousand Islands. There, they worked on several projects, including the construction of two important retaining walls near the park's beach area. But after their departure from Newtown Battlefield, Camp SP-46 was removed and soon forgotten by many local citizens, and no other black officers were assigned to command positions in the CCC. As is unfortunately common with black history in the United States, there is a portion of the story of the Civilian Conservation Corps that was never properly documented or has been forgotten. Though that may be the case, the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation 
is forever grateful for the dedication and hard work of the men of CCC Company 1251C for making Newtown Battlefield State Park what it is today. While the striking obelisk that draws your eye as you approach Newtown Battlefield is dedicated to soldiers of the American Revolution, the monument of sorts to the men of Company 1251C and the historic moment when black officers were given command in a largely segregated society is the collection of buildings, playing fields, and other works completed in the 1930s by Company 1251C that are among some of the best preserved works of the Civilian Conservation Corps in the entire New York State Park system. These men were trailblazers, both literally and figuratively. We invite you to explore Newtown Battlefield State Park for yourself, maybe by hosting a family gathering in the picnic shelter, spending the night in one of the cabins, or strolling the park's historic grounds in order to really appreciate the hard work and perseverance of the men of Civilian Conservation Corps Company 1251C.